This afternoon, the House passed the Stop School Violence Act, empowering students, teachers, and law enforcement to respond to warning signs that could lead to gun violence. This as students walked out of school all across the country to draw attention to the issue. Students walk out despite threats of school discipline. Many chanted slogans, as you heard, against the NRA. Among the participants were students from Catholic school Don Bosco Cristo Rey outside of Washington, D.C. And one month ago, a gunman killed 17 at a Florida high school. Joining me now to talk about this is Jason Russell, contributing editor with the Washington Examiner. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. You heard those chants against the NRA. Is this new House safety bill, which basically is all about security, 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 and not gun control, going to be enough for these students? Uh, I doubt that it will be. It's, it's really, this bill is about training teachers to uh, you know, identify earlier on the threats of violence, potential threats of violence before they happen. Um, now, this is clearly not what the students were calling for, right? That, that you didn't hear chants that said, we, we want better mental health training for teachers. They were, <laughs> right, they were, they right. were chanting against the NRA, sure. right? So they're, they're going to be, uh, you know, unhappy with anything short of uh, a gun control bill, I think. So Representative Steve Scalise came out with House leadership today. Here you see them all saying, hey, we have actually done something uh, Steve, Steve Scalise said, at a time when people are asking Washington to do something, Congress actually took action today to not just do something, but start addressing the problem with a strong bill. Now, Steve Scalise was a victim of gun violence himself. To him, this is a strong bill. What's next? They're not going to put any gun control measures forward? I don't think, uh, I think there could still be further issue. You know, I, I saw many Republicans saying that this is not a one and done bill. Uh, you know, they have already passed a bill uh, in the wake of the church shooting in Texas uh, that addressed, uh, you know, the, the issues in the background check system. So there, there could be a better, faster background check system. Uh, we're still waiting on the Senate to, to take action on that. that. That bill actually already has 60 votes, or sorry, 60 co-sponsors in the Senate. So it's, it's likely to pass, but uh, they haven't taken action on that yet. You would think this would have been a day to do that if, if they were going to move forward. There must be something holding that piece of it back. So earlier this week, the president unveiled his plan to make schools safer and including helping states pay for firearms training for school personnel. In your opinion, is that a responsible or good way of spending federal funds? Uh, in my opinion, and not a, a good role for the federal government, right? Every school district is different. Every school is different. Uh, in my opinion, better to have every school decide what they should do best on their own rather than do this. It's notable that the Stop School Violence Act, the, the $50 million per year that it's uh, appropriating, does not uh, allow, it, there's a ban on any of that money going towards training or firearms for teachers. Will arming teachers stop the tragedy that we saw in Parkland just the other day, um, yesterday, in Seaside, California? I don't know if you heard about this, but there was a teacher who serves as a reserve police officer who accidentally fired a gun inside a, a high school classroom. Three students were injured. Nobody was, was really hurt. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, certainly there's no panacea here, right? Like, you know, arming, arming every single teacher, even arming some teachers, is not going to solve every problem. Uh, and even if teachers are armed, there are still other ways to harm students, uh, whether through knife attacks or through homemade bombs, like the ones we've seen in Austin, Texas. So, uh, you know, a gun in every classroom is not going to solve the problem. It could shorten mass uh, shootings, but, uh, you know, we, we really don't know. And this is the problem, the discussion that we're having right now, is that, Nobody can come to an agreement on exactly what is going to stop this. Exactly. I think it's, it's important for both sides to be more understanding of the others and, and uh, you know, come to this issue with, with more understanding that, you know, the other side isn't evil. They're not trying to take away our rights and they're not trying to kill every single child. So uh, be reasonable. Jason Russell, contributing editor with The Washington Examiner. Thank you. Thank you.